Counter Hero, Chapter 1. This is a little game that I just recently discovered. The way I usually discover games. And so, clicker use the arrows to move, check and talk, open the door, yeah. And I played through enough of it to discover it has a really interesting mechanic, and that's the reason I want to show it off. Morning, greetings. How is your condition? Now scanning. No problems detected. Please proceed. The professor is waiting for you. Good morning. Are you ready for your mission? Let's review the details. You'll be sent 2,000 years into the past. Once you're there, find as many red crystals as you can. After 21 hours, we will bring you back here. Do you understand everything? Yes. Now go stand on the device to the left. All right. I will do so. I have a mouse cursor, which uh, you'll see why I might need it in a little bit. Come back in one piece, okay? Initializing teleportation. So I'm going to try to play this like I don't know anything. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, so here we are. And there's a happy little bunny who has a speech bubble, so of course we want to go talk to him. Although I also want to, let's see. Right, this just says cancel. There's nothing I can do there. There's an undo button. And there's multiple levels of undo and redo. Um, I'm not sure how far the undo button uh, actually goes back. Let's talk to the bunny. Hey, I got three apples. Do you want one? Yes, sure, here you go. So the little bag icon, as you might imagine, is your inventory. And I can check the details of an apple to learn about it. A sweet red fruit that keeps the doctor away. Recovers five hit points, as you might guess. There's some kind of door over here, but it's locked. All right. And if I try to go this way, I end up attacking this little plant. All right, well, that's great. There's a chest over there, and there are some guys. And if I just arrow key into them, so this game is pretty much like arrow keys and then occasionally mouse to click. Like, maybe I don't even need the mouse. I haven't figured that out. Dealt two damage. And took three damage. So he's hitting me back. All right, let's hit him again. Dealt two damage. And we beat him. Gained five gold and three experience. And that was enough to level up. I am at level two. Attack plus one, max HP plus two. And it refills my health bar. So already this might, uh, for those of you who've been with the channel long enough to remember when I did a short uh, playthrough of desktop dungeons, it's got kind of a bit of that going on in terms of making moves and selecting when and how to fight enemies in order to kind of like play optimally. I'm not describing this very well, but in any case, uh, I want to wait for this guy to come up to me, and I don't think there's actually like a waiting key, but something I can do is I can inspect the apple, <laughs> and that will actually take a turn until you notice the guy walk towards me. And so now I can attack him again, dealt three damage, took three damage, ouch. All right, dealt three damage again, and now he's there, and now my I'm up three of ten in level two, so that's great. Let's go check out what's in the chest. So, found a web ball. This game has obviously kind of RPG-like aspects to it. It also has roguelike aspects to it. Uh, and so some of the loot is randomized, and so a web ball might not always be there. And if we inspect what a web ball is, creates an artificial web, holds enemies motionless for three turns. So, as you might be able to imagine, this guy is a different color. Um, and you might expect, and you would be right, <laughs> that that means uh, that he's going to be more difficult. But since I have the web ball, you could say where you're going to put it. So I want to put it to the right of me. Boom. All right, he's stuck in a web ball, so he can't move for three turns. So I can deal three damage to him. And I can deal three damage to him again. And I can deal three damage to him again. Ouch. See, he hits for four. Yikes. Ouch. Dealt three damage. There we go. Gained 11 gold and 8 experience, so that'll bring me up to 11 experience, so that'll bring me up to the next level here. Reach level 3. Attack plus 1, max HP plus 2. Alright, so I've got more attack power, that's great. And... yeah, more guys to kill. Dealt 4 damage. And this guy dies. So they only had 4 hit points. Before it took me 2 hits, because I only could hit for 3. 
but this makes it easier to take out these little blue guys. And you can chop this stuff down, and I think sometimes there's like, uh, you know, like money or different things that you can find in the grass that you chop down. And so, I guess I'm speaking with foreknowledge. <laughs> I said I was going to do this playthrough as though I were playing blind, uh, but already I'm not doing that. All right, but we have guys who can wander around and fight. Uh, with four, hitting for four, I think I should be strong enough to deal with this guy. Um, but I still want to get the first hit on him, so I'm going to inspect my apple once more so that he'll walk up towards me. All right, I hit him for four, he hits me for four. I hit him for four, he hits me for four. And now he's dead. Great. And now I'm pretty low on hit points. Uh, but I know that I can one-shot this guy. And that'll bring me up to the next level, and then that's going to refill my hit points. Okay. Reach level four! Defense plus one! Max HP plus two. Cool, I have a defense point now. So the little shield icon now says one instead of zero. And I think it's just kind of a linear thing, kind of like uh, Terraria. So basically I'm going to take one hit point less from different guys. Found an Electro Ball. What's an Electro Ball? Activates after being set on the ground. Shocks whatever it is on three times. Okay, so it's like a trap. And something you might notice up in the upper right hand corner, there's a clock that's showing like time passing. And they said they were going to bring me back after 20, 21 hours, I think. Okay, I killed everybody over here. I think there was another way to go back to the left over here. Yeah, and there's more guys to kill. So let's do that. Keep gaining experience. And so I didn't notice if I came in like at noon, and now it's like 2.40 or something on the clock. There we go! There's an example of finding something in the grass. Okay, and I think it just happens randomly. Hey, found another apple! Okay, got lots of healing items on me. And there's a chest over here. Found a web ball! Okay, so we've already had one of those before. We know what they do. Um... I don't know what the... Oh! Found an arrow! Okay, so that's a new item. Arrow. Details. Useful for long-range attacks. Has a range of eight spaces. Okay, so we can hit enemies from far away. So it does seem like it might be useful to mow the grass, as it were. Found ten gold. Okay, so I'm up to 67 gold. So one presumes that there's going to be a shop somewhere that we can spend it. But it does seem like it could be worth it to mow the grass, and the trade-off is we're using up time. And so pretty much every time I move... Oh, it just passed 3 o'clock and the music just changed. I just noticed that. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it could be fruitful to do this, but it's also using up time. And it's unclear at this point how much the time is going to matter, but I'll at least go ahead and clear out this bit of grass, and as a result, I improved my inventory a little bit. So this is up here, yeah, is the rabbit, and that's where we started. Haven't we met before? Yes, we have. I knew it! <laughs> the rabbit has a good memory. You can remember someone he met three hours ago. Okay, those guys are all dead, because upside down means dead, obviously. Yeah, I mentioned that the game isn't super polished. We haven't gotten to the interesting mechanic yet. Uh, I'm hoping to get it kind of right around the end of this episode. This game is currently available as a pay-as-you-want kind of game, and there's just chapter one, so it's a short game. Um, like, I already played it for a few hours, uh, and I think maybe got most of the way through chapter one. Um, but, uh, yeah, the developer suggests two bucks or something, and I just wanted to at least show off enough of it. Um, because it seems really interesting to me um, that it could turn into something amazing. And yeah, hopefully we'll get far enough that I will be able to show that to you guys too. So if you're interested in trying it out for yourself, you could try it out and hand the developer a couple bucks if you were so inclined. Um, yes, as someone who has spent many hours making my own game or map uh, with things like Minecraft Bingo and just asking for donations, uh, definitely when other people are doing the same. I want to try to support them. And I think this is a worthy one of supporting, based on what I've seen. Okay, so let's use an apple. Recovered five hit points. Great. 
I am now ready to fight this guy. Oops. I walked in and took damage first. That was silly. But at least I have defense now, so he's only dealing three rather than four. So I can wear him down. And I'm up to 20 of 30 experience. I expect I'm going to need another apple, and I've got five of them, so let's just go ahead and use one now. So I don't forget about it or get myself into trouble later on. So here we got some strange blocks. Okay, it just passed 6 p.m., and you just saw it get darker. And so that's like telling us that evening time is coming. Found some more money. Great. There's a chest over there. And I guess I haven't tried to attack these blocks, but I can't break through there. And there's some kind of creatures over there. Guarding that chest, as it were. Oh, here's another one of you. I should be able to kill you. Because you only deal three. And then I will hit you again, and you'll deal three. And then I'll hit you again and kill you. So it seems like the health of these guys is like not randomized at all. Okay, I'm up to 28, but I'm going to need another apple in order to kill somebody else. Unless it happens to be a little blue guy. Let's see if there's a little blue guy down here. Because then I wouldn't need to waste my apple. Oh, this comes around to somewhere I've already been, because this guy's dead. Yeah, this must have circled around and I just got lost. Okay, let's go ahead and eat an apple then, because there's not going to be any guys right there. To use as a level up, as a way of healing. Um which is pretty similar to something you would do in desktop dungeons. Oh, here's a person! I ran away from the village to hide out here. There's no other ways to survive the monster's nightly raids. Anyway, do you know of the vault? There's a treasure somewhere inside it. Get me a sword and I'll tell you where the key is. Okay, I'll try. Wait, you don't have a sword. I see. If I say no... Well, if you change your mind, okay. So when I have the sword, I come back and say yes, I think. So what we need to do. He ran away from the village. I guess this is the village. And there's a bunch of scared people locked inside their houses. It's locked. Great. Everybody's scared of some monster. And I can't get in to talk to any of them. Ooh, but there's chests. All right. What do we have here? Found a web ball. All right, great. Found a web ball. All right. Useful objects. Ooh, a cold wind begins to blow. And I note the time is 9 p.m. All right. Found an arrow. Okay, that's good for fighting, perhaps. There's another chest. Ooh, I heard a noise. But there's a person here. And he is outside. I'm on guard to protect the village from the monster. I've been training for five years. That brute's as good as dead. Okay, good. Um, I, since I hear something scary, I'm going to go ahead and use another apple. And I have multiple arrows, right? I should try one out. So let's take an arrow and aim it upwards. You just like throw them. You don't need a bow or anything. Boom! Oh, it does show a bow, like briefly in my character's animation. Dealt five damage. And these guys, I think they have like 12 damage that they can take. Um, so I could fire another arrow, actually. How many arrows do I have? I only have two more. Actually, let's try out the Electro Ball, because I haven't done that before. So let's put an Electro Ball down there. Okay, he took three damage. And then I could walk him back into it. I see, okay, cool. Ooh! Something in the top right. Did you see that? Uh-oh. I think we found the monster. And he just killed one of the villagers. Yikes! Alright, this guy's been training for five years. If anyone could save me, it's gonna be that guy. And that guy's dead. <laughs> oh, but now the monster's going back after the villagers. Okay, he doesn't care about me, apparently. So... Let's do some more exploring while we can, because I would like to stay alive, and maybe I could level up before I try to go fight the monster. Uh, yeah, because I'm about to level up. So this is breathing fire, and it's green, and I guess it has little wings, and so I guess it's a dragon. Um, dealt four damage, and he didn't counterattack. Dealt four damage. He shot his fire, but he shot it to the right. Dealt four damage. Okay, gain nine gold and six experience. Reach level five. Great, max hit points plus three. All right, I've got more hit points. Maybe if the monster comes back this way, I can survive now. 
Uh, but I still hit for the same amount, I believe. Dealt four damage. Yeah, took three damage. So none of my other stats changed. And we still have the spooky music in the background. Okay, so the dragon can only shoot left to right. Oh, he can shoot through walls, too. Can only shoot left to right. So what I need to do is bait him out. Ouch! All right, that was a foolish way to bait him out. Yeah, to like here. And then he can only shoot left to right. And so if I get above him, that's his, that's his weak point. Above him and below him. Okay. Killed another dragon. That's great. Here comes another dragon. Sure, I know how to kill them now. Time is still passing. Maybe if we survive the entire night, the monster will go away. Oh, I have two enemies coming at me at once, but this guy can one-hit kill, so that's not a bad, bad thing. Oh, there's a girl down here. Can I get to her? Um, it looks like if I walk around that way, I could get... To, ouch, oh, I walked right into that. That was foolish. Ooh, and now I only have... I don't have enough hit points to survive this right now. Let's eat an apple. Okay, so now I still have six... So I can hit him. He hits me for three. I need to eat another. Oh gosh, I'm using up all my food. All right, let's use that. And now I have at least enough to kill you. And that's gonna get me to 35 experience. If I could find one more enemy, except for this little enemy only gives me, yeah, this is not enough. All right, is there one more little guy like that that'll get me up to the next level up so I get a free health upgrade? Hello, other enemies. And then I'll go try to talk to that girl. Or hello, other easy enemies, I should say. I don't know what that is. Found a digital watch. Okay. Check. The time is now 027. All right. We have the clock in the upper right, so... And I'm not seeing any more enemies up here. All right, let's go try to talk to that girl then, I guess. Oh, dear. And the monster can break through those rocks as well. So there's nowhere safe to go. So I guess what I ought to do is try firing my arrows. Dealt one damage. Yikes. Okay, so the monster has a lot of defense is what we just learned. Um, maybe the monster only has three hit points. And so if I deal another bit of damage, and then, do I have an apple still to use? I have a web ball. Let's see if uh, that slows him down. Ouch. Took 11 damage. <laughs> and I'm dead. Okay. So, we get a feel for the game. And we're back at the beginning. I have three apples. You want one? Yes. Here you go. With that knowledge of kind of the layout, we can try to do better this time. Because I don't think the layout is randomized. I think it's just like the chests and what's in the grass and stuff like that. All right, so let's kill off this first guy. You only need three experience to go to level two, and so we reach level two immediately, and that improves our attack, which is great. Let's, oops, I took damage needlessly there. That was foolish. All right, this guy is dead. Um, but now I'm gonna need to eat one of my apples already, probably, I think. Unless, I found an arrow. And I happen to know that these yellow guys give eight experience. And so I might be able to kill him with the arrow. Let's see, the arrow travels really far. So if I do an arrow to the right, that dealt five damage. But I'm only hitting for three. And he's going to hit me for four. Yeah, so he's still going to kill me. So I'm going to have to spend my apple, unless there happens to be an apple right here. Or is there anywhere else I could go and find an apple before this guy kills me? Found an apple! Okay, great. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess I'm spending the apple anyway, and so it's just the same as finding it later, but yeah, whatever. Okay, now I don't care about taking damage because I'm about to level up. Okay. Reach level three. Great, attack is up. Now I can one-shot these guys. Great, great, great. Okay, so there's a village somewhere up and to the right. And I went there at night and everyone was locked in their houses. Let's see if we get there earlier. 
if anything changes. And so let's see. This is just a chest. No, this is the way I want to go. Found an apple. Remind me what I have currently. I just have the two apples. I think two apples is going to be enough to try to get through these yellow guys, even at level three. So if I hit him, deal four, took four. Ouch, ouch. Deal four, took four. Ouch, ouch. Okay, deal four. And now he's dead. And now I can eat an apple. Oops, apple, use. Great. And then with eight, he's hitting me for four, so I'm gonna have to eat an apple in the middle of this fight, unfortunately. Unless I can go find another blue guy. I'm pretty sure there's another blue guy down here, and then I can just level up. Yes, there's a blue guy over here, and I can one-shot him now. There we go, reach level four, defense plus one, max hit points, and I'm refilled. Now I'm in better shape to go take on this yellow guy. And I want to wait for a moment, so let's inspect an apple. And the fact that you have to inspect an apple to wait, like, seems like an oversight or something. Uh, the way the damage numbers appear, like, there's a red minus four, and then there's a red minus three, like, I wish they were different colors to make it more obvious who's taking the damage or whatever. There's a number of little things where this game last lacks polish, I think, but I think it just had its first release, like, a week ago or something. Um, and even if it lacks some polish, there's like a cool mechanic coming up. <laughs> um, so I want to get to that. Okay, so we're going to go to the village. Right. If you get me a sword, I'll tell you where the key to the vault is. Okay, but I don't have a sword. Okay, but look at this. Villagers and their houses are open. The monster from the mountain will attack again at 9 o'clock tonight. What'll we do? Alright, so I guess that person came out of that house. This person says, Everyone's running away from the village because of the monster. Our population is now is down to 8 now. Alright, so it's been whittling away the population of the village. I'm the wisest person in the village. Do you have anything to ask me? Tell me about the monster. At 9 o'clock tonight, the monster will appear and head towards the village. We've ended it off before, but it's growing stronger by the day. It damaged the western wall last night. I guess that's where the guy was standing guard, so I fear our remaining time is short. Perhaps the rumor that it has a red crystal is true. Okay, we were sent from the future to get red crystals, and now we're actually hearing about them. And, okay, so let's ask him about the red crystals. The power of the rest of crystal depends changes depending upon its holder. Some people can fly, others can breathe fire. Like the dragons? Do they have red crystals? Even others will obtain incredible strength. It's truly an enigma. And sure, let's ask about dragons. Dragons breathe fire every two turns. Okay, I've observed that. Their fire has a reach of two spaces. I've observed that as well. They can't breathe fire up or down, though, so you should attack them from there. Yes, I figured that out already by accident. And North House. I think the house to the north is locked. A young man lives there, but he hasn't come out in a while. He seems to be avoiding us for some reason. All right, maybe we'll see him. Hey! It's a shopkeep. And we have 63 gold. Does anything catch your eye? Interesting. Okay, so you can buy arrows, and I could buy a sword, or I could buy a dragon sword. I know if I give that one guy a sword, he's going to tell me some information, so I think I definitely want to buy that. And I'll hold on to the rest of the money for right now. Okay, the music just changed, so it's become 3 p.m. Let's talk to more folks. Weapons are pointless unless they're equipped. Oh! So I suppose... Can I equip the sword? Yes. So now I'm holding a sword, and up at the top, my damage number is 4 plus 2. So I guess the sword gives me a plus 2. So before I go hand it to this guy, I could fight some enemies, and I would have an uh, attacking advantage. I know what's inside the vault. It's a red crystal. Cool, huh? Yes, I need a red crystal. Except for I thought the monster had a red crystal. It might be the secret to beating the monster. So maybe he guards the red crystal? The only problem is the door has a special lock, and very people know where to find the key. Well, I know where there's a guy who knows where to find the key. 
And so that seems to be steering me back to the guy, but I just want to take a peek up here. Oh, we were here once before, right? And we got a couple of web balls out of these chests. This time it has an apple and an electro ball. All right. Another apple, great. And here is the guy who's locked in his house. So we can't seem to talk to him right now. All right, so let's go hand off the sword and try to get some information. And hey, I found some more gold, great. Didn't even mean to do it. I was just trying to walk to the south. Okay, do you know the vault? There's treasure inside. Give me the sword and I'll tell you where the key is. I'll say yes. Thanks a ton. The key is inside the tree to the left of the vault's door. Help yourself. Okay. The key is to the left of the vault's door. So, is this the vault door? That's just like this person's house, right? To the left of it. I found 10 gold here, but I did not find a key. Okay, we did a little bit of exploring here last time. Right, I've been training for five years. I'm gonna kill the monster and then he comes and kills you, okay. Okay, so let's hit this guy. Oh, I don't have the sword anymore, right? So I'm not hitting as hard. I didn't get a chance to use it against any monsters. Okay, but I can still kill this guy, because he's only going to hit me for three, and that's going to bring me down to one, which is fine, because I have lots of apples. So let's use a couple of apples, I think. There we go. Use another apple. Okay, I'm in decent shape again. What's in here? Electro ball. And I guess I might as well use them since I have them, so let's, let's get closer to this guy. What is the right place to put this? I think I can put it to the left of me right now and I'll be able to get him to walk into it. Because if I go up, will he come towards me? Yes. And then I go this way. Yes. Cool. And then I can finish him off. Nice. Okay, those electro balls are actually pretty fun. The dragon, I know. Oops, Ugh, I just walked right into that. I walked down too far. Okay, I can undo, not a problem. I forgot that undo exists. I want to attack him from the top. There we go. Dealt four damage. He does nothing. Dealt four damage. He shoots fire left or right. Dealt four damage. He is dead. Leveled up. More hit points. Great. All right. Dealt four damage. Took three damage. Dealt four damage. Took three damage. Great, and it's going to take me a while to get to the next level, so let's just quickly kill off this dragon without thinking too much about it. And let's also get above this dragon. Can I get above this dragon? If he comes this way... Yeah, uh, he's going in there though. Can I do... If I wait one move... Details. Oh, he moves and then shoots. I was thinking it was the other order. Oops. Okay, well, let's just get above him. All right, so we've done that. And so we haven't explored this far to the left before, have we? I don't think so. I think I want to go ahead and use my Electro Ball and try to preserve my apples for now. And I know how to cheese this guy, like so. There we go. And now we're getting close to another level up. I can one-shot this guy. So I don't think we've been over here. Ooh. It's too heavy to move. So there's some kind of rock in the way right here. Okay, here's another guy who will not give me enough experience to level up. But I think this dragon will, if I can stay above him. And I can stay above him right here. Here we go. And did I ever talk to the girl down there? Did I ever come back around to talk to her? I remember I was going to do that and I got distracted by a bunch of things. Attack plus one, max hit points plus three. Okay, that's nice. So let's see if we can get... Oh, cold world... Okay, it's nine o'clock. The monster's coming again. Have I talked... Ooh! There's something down there. I was running away from the village when I found a shiny red rock. 
When I picked it up, I suddenly had two wings. And best of all, I could use them to fly. The wise man said that it treats different people different ways, and some people learn to fly. Oh! And she just flew away. <laughs> I actually, I did not encounter that in my previous playthrough. So apparently, she has one of the red stones, but the monster has one of the red stones, and one of the red stones was in the vault. Is this the vault? It's locked. Okay, I can't get in here. And then there's the building that had the rock that was too big to move, and it's got a chest in it. What is this? Found a skateboard. Um, yes, please. Skateboard. Details. A board with wheels multiplies horizontal movement by two. So let's equip that. Neat! So we can move faster horizontally now. That actually means I could outrun some enemies. So that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, there's a monster who I think is going to rampage the village. I presume. Or did he already do it? He already did it. The wise man is dead. These people are dead. Yeah, everybody is dead. Okay. Oops. And... I thought from here we could see the guy who was in that place. But I don't see him. Uh, you're still alive. Right. He was telling me where the... Oh! I, I found the monster. <laughs> and he's below me, so I'm not going to be able to outrun him, am I? If I go right and up and right... Ouch. Yeah. I mean, I can kind of outrun him into the corner here, but now I'm just trapped. Um, yeah. Okay. And, okay, that must be the vault door, because there's something shiny in the tree to the left of it. So now that we know the information of where the key is, it actually shows up on the map. There's also this new question mark. Hello! Thank you for playing this game. Sorry for making you die so many times, but you'll get a little closer to winning each time you do. To help with that, I've added more details to the instruction. Read them by clicking the question mark in the button to the lower left. Good luck. And so I can click this, and we have instructions, and it tells me about turn-based combat and the clock. It tells me about items and what the stats mean. It tells me about death. Rewind? Well, even undo dying. That's interesting. Be sure to take advantage of it in complicated situations. I definitely have taken advantage of it at least when I made a mistake. There's the keyboard controls. Shift to use a red crystal when available. I don't have a red crystal yet. Okay. Let's go check out... Oh, right. Do you have, yeah, I have three apples. Yes, I would like one. Thank you. Let's go check out this. Found the vault key. Here we go. Use the vault key, yes. And so, the bunny rabbit. They call it a vault, but what's inside? Let's go find out. Oh, it's a chest. Found an arrow. All right, usual kind of stuff. Oh, ready, set, push. I see, the bunny can help me push these things around. So if I talk to him, he's got a speech bubble again. Looks like we need two to move that boulder. Let's give it a shot. Ready, set, push. Okay, great. And I get access to another chest. Found a shield. Alright, that is good. We like shields. Actually, I should equip a shield. Uh, let's read the details. Adds one defense. Yes, as you would expect. So let's equip the shield. And ready, set, push! Some of you may have noticed that that just closed off my old way out. So that's not particularly great. Another chest. Found a wind machine. Wind machine. Details. An incredible machine that creates strong gusts. Pushes everything one space. So I can use it to push monsters around, I guess? It's too heavy to move. Looks like we need three to move that boulder. Nothing we can do now. Ooh. And just advance time, I think, to early the next morning or something. You hear a voice from the air. Come here. Something that's pointing down and right. 
Well, I can't get through there. Follow my voice. All right, seems to be coming from somewhere over here. Come here. I'll give you power. Ooh. Found a red crystal. That's what we're here for. You obtained a special skill. All right, so I have one red crystal. Uh, this is still too heavy to move. So I still don't have a way out of here. Time is still going. Maybe it didn't take as much time as I thought. Maybe this is still the same day. I don't remember what time you actually start in the game. So let's talk to this guy. Looks like we need three to move that boulder. Click the number. Three. Click the number. One. They swap. It looks like we need one to move that boulder. <laughs> and now if I press up against the boulder, move the rock. Yes. Some of you who've been paying attention to a lot of what's already happened in the game perhaps already see how interesting that's going to be. Marvelous! It looks like you found a red crystal. With it, you can switch numbers around at will. There are no limits whatsoever, so don't be afraid to experiment. I've added more details to the instructions, so please, uh, please read it later. Have fun. So, for example... Took two damage. Okay, that's fine. Dealt two damage. Now I dealt three damage to that guy. Minus three. <laughs> Took two damage. Dealt two damage. Gained five gold and three experience. Well, that's pretty great, but I didn't find a whole lot to spend gold on. So let's grab that five and save it for later. Reached level two. Attack plus one. Max HP plus two. Attack plus five. Max HP plus two. And now you get a sense of what this game is all about. Uh, it is, I guess you could describe it as a puzzle box, which is how to get to the red crystal in the first place, and then once you do, how to optimally use your resources to be able to get through the whole adventure. So I think that's a good place to go ahead and finish things off for today. This should give you a taste of this game and hopefully makes you interested. Obviously, there'll be a link in the description to where you can go get it. Like I said, it's a pay-what-you-want kind of game. Um, so yeah, I encourage you to take a look if this looks at all interesting to you. And if you do want to play, I would play through it before you watch my playthrough or any more of my playthrough, because uh, I think it'll be more fun to kind of let go and discover on your own. Um, yeah, so check it out. I hope as always you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon with more... What is this called? Counter Hero. Counter Hero. Chapter 1. Oh, Counter Hero, because he's got a counter thingy, kind of. With the red crystals, maybe? I don't know. Bye-bye. <laughs>